All right, guys, welcome along to day two of the F1 in Schools National UK Finals 2019. Um, lovely to see all of your faces uh, today, this morning. I can see you are eager to get going. Um, just a quick briefing we're going to do with you so you know what you're going to do for day two. Uh, but just an announcement at the back uh, for the primary STEM project to make a car, uh, there's some new, and I want an ooh off this, there's some new fancy card. That is correct. Uh, so the best looking car, if you go and do that project, make it, uh, you there could potentially win a special prize. So that's with Eleanor right at the back. If there's any moment where you've got a few minutes to go and make one, make sure you get involved with that. In the meantime, uh, let's crack on, let's get to the briefing. So big round of applause for a man, the, probably the hard, one of the hardest working people here, an absolute gen. Uh, it is of course Mark Weems. Hold on, come on up. Cheers Tom. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are we? Uh, from a kind of like a way or a woo, how are we? Good, excellent. That's a good, that's a good way. Uh, oh, good, no comfort monitor. Right, first things first, guys. Today, yesterday, massive, massive well done from everybody at the team. We, we sort of, we sat with the judges at the end of the day who, believe it or not, left the building at half past seven. Um, just reflecting on how this felt yesterday from a judge's point of view, and we said it feels more like a world finals than a national finals, and that reflects on you guys and girls and just how hard you've worked. So well done for yesterday. Uh, today, obviously, is the big one, and this is where we find out at the end of today who our award winners are, who our champions are, and who's going on to the next stage of the competition. Now, uh, that's me, of course. Don't need to show you that. Schedule for the day. Um, first things first, the pit interviews for the pro class are going to come straight away. So professional class pit interviews, as soon as we finish this briefing, you guys need to get to your displays and you're going to be done in order from PO1 right the way through. So be ready to be on camera with Tom and that's going to form the second half of our pit interview video which will be put up on YouTube as soon as possible. Racing is going to start really early, folks, okay? And we're going to go from yesterday's order, ascending in class, okay? So we're going to go from development class through into professional class, starting with the slowest and moving through the field. Today is your chance to improve, okay? If you had a slip up with the thumb, if you had a timing issue, if your car was a little bit fragile, today is your chance to right all the wrongs of yesterday and it's for points. So today counts on track. Okay, no racing for fun. This is the chance that you can, you can turn up and, and make massive strides in the, in, the, in the overall standings. So think carefully and make sure that today racing is your absolute priority. You're going to have some feedback sessions. Feedback sessions given by the judges today. This is a brand new feature for the UK National Finals. We think it's going to give you guys so much to go away and think about and be positive about and be inspired about. You're going to hear from the judges what they thought of your performance yesterday in all the areas. Okay, and that is in terms of what you did incredibly well and also what they think you could improve on. That is not to say that if they tell you what you can improve on, that you've done badly. Okay, this is all measured. So this is, this is something we're doing for you guys today to give you all the kind of little, bis little missing bits of the jigsaw in terms of your learning journeys. Lunch at 12.30, although we're going to be plowing through on track, I think we're going to be pretty much wall to wall on track. So just make note of your time on track and please don't deviate. Uh, the best thing to do with track folks, and I'll talk to, you about, talk to you about it in a minute, is just to make sure that you're here in advance of your racing slot. Because obviously Tom will need to talk to you at the, at the track start, give you some time on camera, interview you guys. We need to get you on track and ready to race as per the time on your timetable. Later on today, there's going to be an Airbus tech talk, and that's going to be an inspirational talk from some of our hosts here at Airbus. And you've probably had a chance to have a look at the, the Airbus stand with all those snazzy bits of machinery that blow my brain. Um, that's going to be something we're going to listen to later on today, shortly before the big finale, the awards ceremony at 4 o'clock. So, as I mentioned, new for this year is the feedback. You're going to have a new timetable today which tells you where to go and when to go there. Essentially, the areas that you're going to go to are the same as yesterday, Apart from for the portfolio judging, you're going to go and see the judges for your enterprise portfolio feedback in the judges' lounge. Okay? So you're going to go into the judges' hive, into the lair, and receive your feedback there. Follow the signs for that, and essentially you're going to be taken by a chaperone as yesterday. So the process is pretty familiar to you by now. But in the feedback sessions, the key thing to remember is... The judges are going to want to tell you how to improve. You need to take that not personally, because what they're trying to tell you is these are how to get even better. All right? Being told how to improve does not mean you've done badly. It's the judges wanting to give you even more of a push. So regardless of who you are, where you are in the standings, the judges will want to try and give you some constructive, helpful feedback and advice. So take that on board, 
it's given in, in the best sense possible in that they want to see the very, very best from all of you, okay? Feedback's gonna be 10 to 15 minute sessions and those sessions are strictly limited to that time slot. So I'm afraid if we get to 15 minutes and the judges are all, you're, you're asking questions, we're gonna have to move on, but that's, that's been briefed to the judges. So don't expect to be there for any more than that. Now, just in terms of who turns up to a feedback session, we'd kindly ask that it's teams only in the feedback sessions, but by all means, fill your teachers in afterwards on all the feedback that you got. But it's, it's so important that it's you guys listening to the feedback and being the ones driving the conversation with the judges. Okay, so it's teams only in the feedback areas. So, in terms of areas, scrutiny and reviews, uh, for those affected, and you will find out if that's, if that's gonna be yourselves called to so just have a quick chat with the scrutineers, that is at the scrutineering table. Verbal presentations are upstairs again, so following your chaperones up to the stairs. Design, engineering, and enterprise, again, I've been through that, and it's the same areas as yesterday. A final reminder, you're still in a factory, and it's still running, okay? Be safe, please don't run. Remember three points of contact, hold the handrail at all times. And also, there is a fire drill today. 12 o'clock, we will hear the fire drill. Yes, Gav, thumbs up. There is a fire drill, because I've remembered to say it. <laughs> yep, there's a fire drill, don't be alarmed. <laughs> yeah, no? Thank you. Um, <laughs> yes. If it goes on for any more than 45 seconds, though, do be alarmed. We need to make our way out, but it shouldn't. Okay, right, that's it from me. Have an absolutely fantastic day. If there's anything at all that you need, come and ask us. You've got a schedule. Let's get cracking. Thank you.
Okay, quick announcement to teams. Can you please pick up your new day two schedules? Your day two schedules are at event reception, which is by the entrance archway. So team managers, can you please pick up your day two schedules from the white entrance archway as soon as possible? We have cars on track. We have feedback sessions underway. Teams, you need to collect your day two schedules from event control by the white archway as soon as possible. Thank you.
Okay, we are here at day two of the UK national finals here at Airbus and teams are racing for a second time and we are starting with the development class. Teams have the opportunity to improve on their times. We are streaming live on YouTube and we have just had Igneous Racing and Astar. So next up we have Oregon Platine and Team A Apex Alpha. Bro, it done. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. Come on, guys. In you get. Right. So can I have a racer at the start and then whoever's stopping the cars go to the ends if that's okay? So my friend, I'm going to quickly talk to you. Who's racing today? Both of you. Who's going first? John, 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 how are you feeling? He had enough coffee this morning? No. No? Oh, God, I'm exactly the same as you. I'm not going to lie. All right, so he's not had enough coffee. He's not going to be quite fast. Uh, Matthew, how are you going to do? Probably not very well, but hey. Ah, you'll be fine. I believe in you. It's all about the belief, you know. You guys, in you come. In you come. Who's racing? Uh, me. You? Yeah. You? Me? Who's me? Uh, Millie Davis. Millie? Millie Davis. Yeah. Millie, how are you feeling? Pretty good. Just a bit tense, but keeping it down. How did it go yesterday? Um, yeah, it went all right, but we want to do better. Want to do better? I think you do better. We all believe in her. Right, guys, take your positions. We'll see how it all goes. You believe in her. Excellent. Good luck, Millie. Good luck, Matthew. Good luck, John. Okay, so the cars are lining up. We have Oregon Plantain in lane one and Team Apex Alpha Bro, Eden. Oh, every time, guys. Ed Doran. Yeah. Ed Doran. It, it is a mouthful, I'm not going to lie. It's a proper tongue twister. This is why I was like, oh, not the first ones. Tom, quickly, come over here. Right, so I think we're ready to go. Racers, to your buttons. Okay, race number one. Great reaction time there from Millie. 0 0.10, no, one, 0 0 0.179. It is early. I've not had coffee. <laughs> An overall time of 1.536. My handy little table's not here, so I can't tell if they've done better or not. Right, ready for race number two. Let's see if we can beat those reaction times. Ready at the end. Cool, ready to go, race number two. Good reaction times. An improvement for Oregon Plantain, 0.188. 
So, John's done his bit. Matthew, your turn. No, believe in yourself. It'll go great. So, we're going to switch lanes now. So, after we've had these two teams race, we have up next Cobra Racing and Hive. like an intense pit crew over here, guys. You are fine-tuned machines. Speedy changing of lanes. I don't know what's quicker, the cars or you guys. Right, so we've changed lanes. In lane one, we have Team Apex Alpha Bro Eden. Eden. I'll get there one time. At the end, I'm going to do it. And then in lane two, we have Oregon Plantain. Right, cars are ready. Race is ready. At the end, ready? Right, race number three. Oh, and we have a fast overall time for Oregon Plantain of 1.591. And good reaction times of 0.195. So we've just got our last race, cars being set up, and we're ready to go. Okay, ready for the last and final race of these two teams. <laughs> Millie, great reaction time there, 0.178. But again, an overall time of 1.562 from Oregon Plantain takes it. Right, so we are done with these two teams. Be gone. No, I'm joking. <laughs> well done, guys. Good luck with the rest of the day. And good luck with the award ceremony, which is streaming live at 4 o'clock from YouTube. So we have our next two teams, Cobra Racing and Hive. So Cobra Racing and Hive, where art thou? I see someone walking towards me. Who is this? Hive. Hi, Hive. Awesome. Right, so I'm going to say, the racer, if you go to your lovely white box, I'll come to you. Who's the racer? That'll be you. Both of you. Good. You're in different color shirts. It makes it easier to identify you. How are you feeling this morning? Okay. Okay, a little bit tired? Yes. A little bit tired. It's fine, though. You had a little bit, you were a little bit late today, so you rushed in. So your adrenaline's pumping, I'm assuming? Yeah, it is. It's, it's pumping, right. You guys go set up the race and I'll talk to the 
to the competitors. Cobra Racing. Alevit. Oh, thank, mercy Baku. Mercy Baku. Right, so I'm going to ask whoever's actually stopping the car to go to the other end, if that's all right. Who's in charge of stopping the car? Now, oh, sorry. Good luck. It's a long walk all the way down. Get the racing going. Right, who's racing? You're racing. How are you feeling? Um, a bit nervous. Mostly okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Confidence? We all got. We all very confident. Good. Right, you go to your racing, my friend. I can't talk to you halfway through just to make your nerves a little bit worse. He's going to do well. I believe in him. He looks confident this morning. How did it all go yesterday? I think it went okay. I mean, it went well. <laughs> I'm sure it went well. I bet it went fantastic, in fact. But I think we're ready to race. So, off we pop. Right, ready for race number one. Cobra Racing Lane 1, Hive Lane 2. Let's get racing. Great, we're actually time for Cobra Racing. North Pier 185. Need my glasses on. Can't see that. But a uh, and a fast overall time. But the car did go fast from high with a 1.385. So the idea of today is that teams can improve on their scores, ultimately making their scores better, but knocking someone down. So it's all to play for today. So lining up for race number two. Last race in these lanes, and then we switch them over. And we have Hive getting the fastest overall time there. 1.649. So, car's going to change over. Girls, help me out here, because I don't have my trendy board and I wasn't here all day. Is that time improvement? It's improved by quite a lot, yeah. It's improved by quite a lot, so it's a good thing we came back today and did a little bit more racing. Happy days. Good, good, good. Right, so Hive will be in lane one, Cobra Race in lane two. How about you girls? Can you tell me, did that, has that been improvement time on uh, yesterday's time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look how look at those smug faces. Happy, happy, happy. Good. That's what we like to see here. Who's first to race this time? You, with the jazzy nails. The camera can't get that close, but I'm absolutely obsessed with those nails. Look at those bumblebee nails. Nice. Who did those? Your mum. Good. I'm not talented with the brush, so I couldn't do that. It'll be smudged into one. It'll be like a really off, really, really off yellow. Right, get ready for race number three. Right, cars are ready. Triggers in hand, I think we're ready to go.
Look at that reaction time. Sorry, Co Racing, I was over there distracted. 0 0.14, 0.154. Again, no coffee. When I get caffeine in me, I'll say numbers a lot better. But it's great times. I think we're ready for the final race. Fantastic job, everybody. Everyone's happy, everyone's high-fiving, which is always a good sign. Congratulations, guys. Good luck with the rest of the day. Well done with your performance. And next up, we have Inferno and Team Orbit. Inferno. <laughs> No, 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 That was Batman. It's not, it's not anything. Who's racing? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ethan. How are you feeling this morning? Nervous, but I can do it, so. You can do it. Do you think you're going to do better than yesterday? Hopefully. Hopefully. I think you will, in my personal opinion. What do you think? Do better? Uh, yeah, he says he does better than the calm, so, yeah, he's been meditating. If you're following the, 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 the line as it's going, sorry, I don't know what the tenex terminology is, but everyone seems to be a lot happier today. So I'm hoping to see some high fives from you guys at the end, being like, yes, teams, yeah. Ugh. Right, so who's stopping the car? Don't break it. Off you pop. You've got to go down there now. Everyone get ready. Off you go. Racers to your positions. Supporters, they're holding his hand. <laughs> you're in lane one, I believe. And then Team Orbit. Come, come, come. I think we're going to be ready to race and momentarily. So who's stopping the car? That'll be you, my friend. If you go to the other end for me. I know, it's no fun. You don't get to talk to me. Don't look too sad. Um, and who's racing the car? Oh, no, you're racing the car. Who's stopping the car? You are. Right, you go to the other end. That's what I was talking about. Oh. Who's manager? Uh, do you hear that? Don't take, they don't take my direction very well. They take your direction very well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. You'd say no. So you're like deputy team manager that's secretly in charge. I like that. <laughs> it's definitely not. Right, guys. Go and go and hold his hand. Support him. He needs the support. But I think he'll do great. Sorry. Okay. Off you pop. We've got... Great reaction time, Team Orbit, 0.154. A great time, really fast. Overall time of 1.474. Inferno, reaction time of 0.299. You got this. Right, second car is being loaded, ready to race. And I think we're ready. We're ready at the end of the track. Awesome. Race number two. Again, good reaction time for Team Orbit. But a faster overall time from Inferno of 1.517, which I believe moved them up to 12th place, which is great news for them. So the car's going to change over now.
Anything come off? Right, so car's going to change over. Team Orbit in lane one, Inferno in lane two. Right, my Speedy Gonzalez team is getting the cars ready. Yes, you're my team. Right, I think we're ready. Team Orbit, a wicked reaction time there of 0.149. Fantastic time. Has he, how they done on their Inferno upper place? But Orbit still not beating that 1.474, even though that reaction time was super quick. Awesome. Final race, guys. <laughs> a reaction time again. Team Orbit on fire, 0.151, and a great rush time from Inferno as well. And a faster total time of 1.498. Well done, guys. So that's identical overall times from Inferno there, of their best times. So well done to them. So next up, we have Team Halo and Whiplash. Sorry, guys. Whiplash! <laughs> ah! Ah! 
That's whiplash, see? Funny. That was funny. That was a joke, and I'm very funny. Come this closer, I don't bite. Wobble, 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 wobble. Right, who is racing the cars? You are racing the car, my friend. How you? Keep going this way. See that white line on the floor? My production team have told me, if you're not there, you don't get on camera. So unfair. And we all want the FaceTime. Um, racer, how are you feeling this morning, my friend? Uh, nervous. We don't want to improve that time, but we'll try. No, I think you can. Everyone seems to have done improved on their time, so I don't know what it's in the air, but I feel like there's some speed in the air. So uh, maybe we'll go a little bit faster. And who's stopping the car? You are. Don't break it. Off you pop, my friend. If you can make your way down the track to the end to stop the car, and you go to your triggers, and then we'll get on with some racing. And Team Halo. I think we're nearly ready to race. So whoever's stopping the car, can I ask you to go to the end of the track for me? Awesome. And who's racing? You two. What's the tactic in two of you doing it? Twice the speed? Twice the thumb power? Uh, not really. Just to see who got the best reaction time, really, yeah. And just to even it out and let everyone have a go. Yeah, good. I like that. All fair and game. Right. Looks like my team are too fast for me. You've cut into my interview time. You guys head over there, start the racing, and I'll come talk to you in a bit. Oh, I know, I know. I'll talk to you for a little bit. How did it go yesterday for you, my friend? Um, I think it, we went pretty well. We got lots of good feedback in the design interview as well. Fantastic. Right, your friend's about to start racing. Go, go give some support. Ready at the end? Excellent. So, we ready to race, number one. Faster overall reaction time there from Whiplash and a faster overall time as well, 1.583. which isn't an improvement of their overall time from yesterday. So yesterday they have to beat for an overall time winner. Halo 1.525 and Whiplash 1.521. Right, ready for race number two. Ready at the end? Okay, great match time, 0 0.170 from Whiplash then, overall time 1.482, which I believe has improved their overall time. So it moved them up four space, four places to 10th. Great job, Whiplash. Right, so car's gonna change lanes. Okay, so our oh, car's going to change over. Halo, talk to me. Halo. Aha. Um, <laughs> tell me, how did uh, yesterday go for you? Well, it was just an experience and a half, to be honest. To come here and to go against teams that are uh, just as good as us, have such um, amazing talent. It's an honour, really, just to come here and race against them. It's really good. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but you came as a entry team guest last year. So what kind of ideas did you pick up and bring with you this year? So we took photos of every single pit display. There's pit displays that we, uh, what the or professional classes we saw last year. And we took photographs of them. We showed their photographs and past pit displays. And they were really, uh, I mean, Team Blackout, Centurion Racing. We saw them last year compete and uh, we talked to them. And from that, we've learned quite a lot about um, how we can improve in F1 schools. And taking this feedback from the portfolios has even helped us even further. And, but anyway, just to come here, it's been an honour, really. And if we don't win next year or the year after, hopefully, we'll come back and we'll try and win this thing. Fantastic. That was my next question. I was like, you're going to come back next year as a professional team, I hope. Uh, hopefully, yes. Um, it'll be the year nines uh, this year, uh, next year. But we're trying to te tell them, teach them how to do it properly. They're really good aspirational kids and we wish the best for them next year. Awesome. Right. See you next year then. Great news. That's great news. I think the car's ready to go. Let's see if we can improve on your times. Okay, cars change lane, so we have Team Halo in lane two and Whiplash in lane one. Just doing our last checks on the car. And then I think we're ready to race. Uh, we have a full start there for Whiplash. A great reaction time there from Team Halo of 0.181. Overall time of 1.433. Which has drastically moved them up on their overall times to second place. So well done, Team Halo. I know, my voice is soothing and it makes you faster. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you. <laughs> right, so we're ready for our last race here. Can they make it to first? Can Whiplash push all the way up to the top? That was a huge jump, so anything's possible. Right, ready for our final race. So, great times there for everyone, but uh no movement on the board, but great and very well done. That's all you have from me, everyone. I'm sorry, don't cry. But I'm gonna pass you back to the man, the legend, the everything, Tom Deacon. Tom, take it away. Thank you very much. Uh, fantastic introduction there from Tim. Uh, I didn't ask him to say those lovely things about me. But listen, yeah, here we are. Day two, F1 in schools, National Finals UK 2019. Development class takes a little breather right now. We'll move to the professional class because we're going to have Imperium come and join me. And then we'll also have Resolution. They'll be joining me over here. That will be the next set of races.
So here we go then, Imperium. Come in to join me. We're gonna go all the way in this corner, I've been told. Who's driving today? Me. Okay, so Ellie's driving. All right, so you'll be getting ready in just a second. Who's gonna be at the far end at the finishing line? Me. Okay, okay. Me. Introduction of names, I'll take that for everybody on the stream as well. Amelia, Erin, Libby, Libby, Neve. Eve. Right, okay, so leave. Okay, all right, that's a bit aggressive. Um, okay, uh, we've only just started having a chat. Uh, wh what will be your role today, Neve? Manufacturing engineer. Okay, and how did you feel yesterday went in terms of the manufacturing of the car and what you can do coming to the race today? I mean, it was a little bit embarrassing. The wheels just sort of let us down. The wheels are an integral part, so how, <laughs> which it, it, it can feel embarrassing, but what have you taken as a positives from yesterday as a team? Did you deal with that situation well? Not really. Yes, we, did. we laughed it off and learned lots of things that we can improve from. That's perfect. That's all you can. Reaction times. We've got quite a good reaction times. Brilliant. Well, listen, that's all you can do. And where's the mascot? Where's the mascot? Go and get the mascot. Unbelievable team, Imperium. Um, so, all right, I'll get the driver. You can head over there, Ellie. The rest of you, you know where you need to be. Best of luck. Um, I'll obviously wait for the, um, the mascot to come back before we really get down to the racing. But well done. Uh, best of luck to Imperium. And then we need resolution. Here they come. We've actually just done the pit walk, uh, which was f fabulous. I really, really enjoyed it. Lovely chatting to you um, guys. Um, so, big moment today. Do you feel a little bit nervous? Where, where, where's your, your heads at at the moment? A little bit, a bit disappointed yesterday, obviously. Not, not the fastest time in the world, but hopefully today we can bring it up, we can improve on our time. Indeed, and how are you gonna do that? Dylan, you were driving yesterday, so how can you improve? What's, what's the key area that you can do to improve? Uh, I can switch with another person, which is what I'm going to do now. <laughs> oh, perfect. So this is, a, this is a live changer. Who are you swapping in? Me. Okay. And, and please introduce yourself to everybody who's on the stream. Uh, my, name's, my name's Caden. Caden, listen. Caden, you head over there to be the driver. That's your role. Well, what, what, what will you do now, Dylan? Where will you be? I guess I'll just replace him and just go down there. Perfect. You're going to be at the finishing line. That's great. So best of luck. Uh, I'll let you guys head off into your areas. Uh, resolution, they're hoping to do a better time. I want them to get focused in the right area that they need to be. Uh, I can give you an update. Imperium have their um, mascot. Uh, it's Lily. Is it Lily? Libby. Libby is the... What? This is Shelly. That's what I thought. I was like, Shelly is the, is the mascot for this. Uh, the squid. Um, wasn't that lucky yesterday? Today, have you had a word with Shelley? She's going to be a bit better for you, Libby. <laughs> She's going to behave better for us. Perfect. All right. Give you more luck. All right. Well, listen, you're off and underway there. Uh, reaction time. Fabulous from Imperium. Ellie's literally in shock. 0.145. Fabulous reaction time. A little high five there. So Shelley, the mascot, is definitely doing a lot better for them today. And as you'll notice today, the teams are, the judges are moving along at a rapid rate. If you want to see speed, that's where it is today. Just trying to make sure the whole day runs a lot smoother. There, there are going to be breakages that will happen. It happened yesterday. And we'll try and fill that time and obviously not have a knock-on effect when we get to those awards ceremony today. But importantly, it is all about setting the fastest time, and uh, Imperium have done a great job there at helping their cause. Wow, even faster with the reaction time there from Ellie. 0 0.140. I think that's the fastest. It's definitely the fastest I've seen 
of day one and definitely day two now. So well done to them. You can't do any more than that. It's just go as fast as you possibly can. So next up in the professional class will be Protonic and Triple Force Plus. They'll be the next to step forward and try and set faster times for their cars today and hopefully change things around in terms of the best total time and maybe the fastest car. The leaderboard is up at the moment. Electron is still top of the fastest car uh, for today in the development class and illusion our best total time that's how it stands at the moment will that change only time will tell thank you very much for joining us today on the live stream don't forget you can like us on facebook at f1 in schools uk also follow us on twitter and on instagram which is again at f1 in schools uk so the teams are moving side so in lane one you will now have resolution the Derby Manufacturing UTC, and Imperium will be in lane two.
So here we go then. Um, we have Imperium in lane two, and we have Resolution in lane one. Ready to get started again. Best of luck to both teams. Trying to set a faster time today. Aiming towards winning later on and potentially collecting something at the award ceremony. There was a... Uh, had a little chat with Ellie, who's got an amazing reaction time. Libby was telling me you need to get her really, really stressed, and that way she'll react in a faster time. So there we go. We're just waiting for things to get started. We are ready to go. There you go. So uh, slow reaction time from resolution, but still crossing the line faster and winning there with 1.612, the total race time. So that'll be hoping to go a little faster than that. That equals Hive's time yesterday, actually. And Imperium, 1.745. So the judges will put those times in. We'll see where we stand with this. One more race to go for these two teams. There you go, incredibly fast time, 0.157. And in the total race time, 1.481. As Ellie shouts out, it's a miracle. Um, there you go. That's what it means to, to those guys. They've done a great job there. Massive improvement on yesterday, so it can be done. Set your time from yesterday and improve. Do the best you can. They'll be very happy with that. So there you go. That was Imperium and Resolution. We move now on to the next professional class, which will be Protonic. And we'll also have Triple Force Plus. So I'll wait for the guys at Protonic to come over. We're currently looking for a wheel. So if there's a wheel nearby you, obviously if you're on the stream, you might have a different sort of wheel, but we found it. We found the wheel. All right then, let's welcome over Protonic. Let's get them over. I know who the driver is straight away. Fantastic fast times from you. I'll tell you what, um, you feeling confident about getting in there and driving the game today with your reaction time? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm feeling very confident this time. Brilliant, well look, I mean, I feel rude doing this, but I need you to go over there. The driver is kicked out of the team. Uh, the positions, who, who's gonna be at the far end? Is the rest of the team gonna be at the far end? I'm gonna stick down there, but everyone else I think is going. 
everyone else is going. Well, listen, guys, lovely to see you again. We're speeding things up today, so I'm going to let you head off, and I'm going to say, where's, where's Dylan going? Where are you going, Dylan? I'm just going to stay here. Perfect. Well, you can chat to me, Dylan. Um, how are you feeling about uh, going into the uh, race today and trying to get that faster time? Um, hopeful, but not, ri not well, who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, listen, I'll let you uh, go and uh, chat to your driver and make sure that you're feeling a little bit more confident with everything. And we'll get uh, over here, Triple Force Plus. There they are. Just having a seat in the perfect moment. Take a little bit of a rest bite. They're a triple force with a plus, but no triple force because we're losing one. Where have they, you're missing one. I know one of your sister, more importantly. She's there. She's coming. I like that. She could run, doesn't need to. Just very calm. Is that how you're feeling? Quite calm about this, Izzy? Yeah. Okay, good. So who will be driving again? Remind me. Aoife. Aoife will be driving. That's why. She was just getting in the zone. Were you in the zone, Aoife? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. And will you be listening to music again? Someone was listening to music yesterday. No music. No music, because it's distractions. It's just distractions. Exactly. Well, listen, Aoife, I'll let you go over into your driving area, uh, your technical area. Where will the rest of the team be? How are you going to line up? Um, on your and Ayla, you're going down to the end, and I'm staying up here. Perfect. Well, I'll let you get into positions. Best of luck. Uh, triple Force Plus. I was panicked there for a moment. I thought the Triple Force was now down to two, so it wasn't a triple, and it was just a plus. So it's just force plus. But they're all back, ready, ready to race. We're going to get underway now. Trying to set a faster time today. Well, there you go. Reaction time faster for Protonic. And the reaction time slower for Triple Force Plus, but actually faster in the total race time of 1.427. So they'll be very happy with that. There is a possibility they might be disappointed with that. I don't know, but I would be. It's a good start. Three more opportunities to, to set a faster time. Who would have thought it? I left a coffee outside, it's now cold. Who would have thought that? It would get cold the longer you leave it. Who would have thought that? So the guy's getting ready. Triple Force Plus in lane two. Lane one is Protonic. As you can see now, cars being lined up. Thumbs up all round. There you go, We're waiting to get the times in there. Find out those. So fast reaction time, 0.154. But a quick time again from Triple Force Plus with 1.459. They will be changing lanes now. If you're telling me that the distractions, no music, distractions, don't need that. Doing very well with the speed of the car. If they could improve that reaction time, they could be even faster with the total race time.
So lane two, just been told, a wing broke off. So that's just being entered into the details. Just been told Protonic, lane one is where the wing broke off. And Triple Force Plus. Just having the car weighed at the moment. Make sure that everything is above board, all in order. And they have to repair. There's a repair that needs to be done. Here we go then, they're just putting on the rear wing. We've got 30 seconds to try and get that on within the time. It's tense. It's like arts and crafts at a tense level. to get 30 seconds for each car. Time has started again. I need to make a few adjustments there and hopefully can set some fast times. In the meantime, Protonic have moved now into lane two. Ready to race again. Good luck to both teams trying to set faster times. Try and give you the update on that. So the back wings are stuck on. How stable they are is it's debatable. But they'll try and race them again and get a better time. That's the name of the game. All right then, ready to race. Thumbs up from Oscar. Thumbs up from the other end for Teddy. All done. Third race. Here we go. There you go. All done. Protonic, a lot faster there. 1.503. Reaction time, 0.173. So doing what they can to get that better time. 
Lane two seems to be favoring them a bit better. Here is then the fourth and final race for both of these teams. Let's hope it's a good one for both of them. Thumbs up across the board. There you go, faster car. Was well, from Triple Force Plus. That super glue is pretty super. I believe everything stayed in place. So there you go, well done to both teams there. Protonic were in lane two in the last race, and also Triple Force Plus. And the judges also indicating a little bit of sportsmanship going in. Some pictures being taken behind me, which is nice to see. May as well. Don't forget, if you are taking any pictures today, please do use the hashtag F1 in schools if you are posting it out. It just helps other people around the world see everything that is going on. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, so make sure you take some time out to like us. Uh, sounds needy, but we just important for Facebook. Uh, building the brand at F1 in Schools UK, also on Twitter at F1 in Schools UK, and on Instagram at F1 in Schools UK. So, Whichever you use, it's a good way of doing it, getting involved and letting everybody know who you are as well. So the next team to come up will be Faster from Notre Dame High School and Mac 1 in the professional class. So that is Faster and Mac 1 will be joining me. So. Shout out to those teams. The panic kicks in, trying to get all the team in one area. I called Mac 1 earlier on, march on. And they will be marching on to the area. The driver can take his position. Just having the car being looked at, sorted out. So, Mac 1, who will be driving from Mac 1? You will be Ian. Okay, Ian, um, feeling better about today? Yeah, a little bit better about today. A car broke yesterday, so hopefully the same tack today and actually survive the deceleration at the end. It's all about surviving the uh, deceleration. I'll let you go and get in your box and get primed, get ready. Who's going to be down at the far end as a team? Okay, they're gone. They're done. Who's sticking up this end? Driving a second one. All right, so um, David, you'll be driving a second one. Feeling confident? Yeah, I think so. Perfect. Listen, I'll let you get into your positions. Faster, the trio, the three amigos, get yourselves over here. Who's driving? Okay, so Jerry, you're going to get over there. Uh, I just want to know, wait, out of 10, you feeling confident? Yeah, 10 out of 10. Definitely. 10 out of 10, Jerry, you get over there and start driving uh, for me. Where are you going to be, Ben? Uh, I'm going to be down the end. Okay, so you're going to be given a wave. I expect to have a wave for myself as well. You can head down there. And uh, you're going as well, Lou? Oh, okay, Lewis is going down there as well. All gone. Everyone, I'm left on my own again. Unbelievable. Happens every time. Day two. Yeah, new nickname is Billy. Billy No Mates up the end here. But Jerry, Full Faster is on lane one. And in lane two, we've got the team's Mac one. Mac one, eh? I think we're at Mac five now for the blades. But anyway, doesn't matter. If they get a really fast time, would they be using something like that was a close shave?
That's what you like to see a teacher taking a picture just before they're about to go. Mind games. It's like Jose Mourinho there was down for a second. Best of luck to both teams. We're about to get underway. So there we go, total race time for Mac 1, 1.282, and total race time for Fasto, 1.460. Could have said O, oh, could have said zero. Go with zero, 1.460. Reaction time's very quick. Both teams can improve on them. Perhaps that will help. Here we go, thumbs up, get into race two now before they change lanes. Both a little slower there with the reaction times. But Mac one, swapping in, swapping out. Team drivers, Jerry doing a great job, I have to say, There's a breakage there for Mac 1. So the difficulty of having only three in your team it means the driver's just all by himself just at the other end here, Jerry. But Ben's back to offer some words of encouragement. Ben and Lewis down the other end. So a bit of fixing going on for Team Mac 1. Got 30 seconds to apply that super glue. So difficult, you don't get an very long at all. 30 seconds to try and fix it. I think that car is gonna be a, will not race, unfortunately. Wouldn't stick, it just seemed to be not enough surface area for it to um, stick on there. Hearing from Mac One, they'll bury that car when they get home. Hopefully, it gets the right send off it deserves. Maybe like a Viking burial. Just sail it out on a boat. Fire arrows. They seem to be taking that in good spirits. They'll get to race in this one. They've swapped lanes. Jerry's waiting to get in there. Start racing it for faster. So 
So a slight delay there while we were fixing the car. Unfortunately, it couldn't be fixed for Mac 1. But we are ready to get going again. So there we go then, uh, Mac 1, reaction time, 0.163, reaction time from Jerry, 0.169, total race time from Mac 1, is 1.294. Just seen one of the judges dab right at me, that's really, that's tilted me, I'll be honest with you, that's tilted me. So Jerry gets to race on his own this time, so no pressure of having the op another competitor by the side of you. So his team will be at the other end. I'm going to attempt to get away from Ben, his teammate, for faster. Still attempting to get that. Yes, the wave is complete. Well, best of luck. This is their last race now, day two. Let's hope they get their, the perfect run they wanted. So here we go then. Best of luck. I don't know why the judge is dancing there at this music. But he is just waiting for a bit of <laughs> clearance. Chief Scrutineer passing by at the back there. There you go. The main man. Do you know what? It felt agonizing, those lights. They just wouldn't go out. But Jerry held his composure. Point one four five, his fastest reaction time today. He must be very happy with that. And the race time, 1.217. Combine those together. I've done the quick maths. I haven't. I'm just reading it off the screen. 1.362. So there you go. Well done to the guys. Great reaction time from Jerry for faster. And they're done and dusted. So well done to those guys. Now, a team yesterday that had to wait around for a long time to get to race is Vitesse. They're going to be coming to join me in a second. That is Vitesse coming to join me. Every time I call a team's name out, they look surprised. We're running ahead of schedule. That's how we like to be. But it's all good. There's no need to rush and panic. For Vitesse, and the also the other team will be Fury. They will be coming to join me as well. They will be the next two teams to race. So I'm seeing Phil for Vitesse walk around. He's lost his team. Come and join me, Phil. Welcome in, Phil. What have you just eaten? Have you just eaten or you got chewing gum on the go? He's just got gum on the go. Um, Phil, how are you feeling about this? Uh, I'm feeling uh, confident. I'm feeling ready. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. Excited is a good place to be, so control those nerves. Uh, Vitesse, who's going to be driving today? Phil is the man. He's composed. He's got the gum. Do you find that the gum helps when you're chewing just to calm the nerves? It's just for my breath, I think. Okay, and I, do you know what? Some people that have come up, and I'll name no names... I wish they had your sort of theory on that. Uh, great stuff, Phil. I'll let you get lined up. You get all sorted. Um, and the rest of the team, obviously, don't want to talk to me. Yeah, have a little debrief, little team talk. That's it. Just hit each other. Job done. So there is for Tess. So they had to wait around 
to the last race yesterday. Last team members, they're all in here, all lined up. And the other team to join me will be Fury. So Fury will be joining me. I can see some of the teammates. Now, I have to remind myself, who is going to be racing today? Driver? Who, no? Who's the driver going to be? Oscar, of course. Right. I'll let um, Oscar will be lining up so Oscar can head over there and get ready. Uh, we're going to bring you over this way a little bit. Oscar's in line, ready to go. Um, rest of the team, uh, any words of encouragement for Oscar? Uh, go Oscar. Go Oscar. Simple, sweet, two words, done. Um, I'll let you get into your uh, finishing area and, and the, any other team members down here getting sorted. But, but you, are you confident and are you happy with where you're at at the moment? Yeah, we're very happy with where we are. We, we've done our best, which is the main thing, and we've tried our hardest, and hopefully let's see where we go. Exactly, I'll be watching uh, eagerly. All right, we're about to get the race underway, so I'll let you get into your positions, get sorted. There you go. No mucking about. Vitesse and Fury. Vitesse are in lane one with Phil with a good breath. Uh, good breath, Phil. That's how he's known now. And Oscar, the driver in lane two, doing a fabulous job. So good luck to both competitors, both drivers. Imagine if driving was that easy, just push the button. And that was it. <laughs> about to get the race underway. Not bad at all there. Reaction time for Phil. Could improve that, potentially. And then add to it, reaction time from Oscar in Fury, 0 0.170. Combined time of 1.373. So Fury wins that one if you're going head-to-head -head with your competitor on the track. But as we know, it's all about up on the board to the side of me. So top race times in the professional class, XLR8, the fastest car yesterday with 1.041. Incredible speed there that they managed to create. And Centurion Racing, we're expecting big things. They've gone faster in regional, so hopefully they can get to that speed. But again, second and, and no slouches there with 1.050. And then Team Entity with 1.057. They're the top three at the moment. Will that be beaten? But can they beat and make them even faster their times? Well, we shall find out. There's a slight breakage, I believe, down at the far end by the finishing line. So 30 seconds will be given. Thumbs up, though, to get the second race underway. So Vitesse wins that one head-to-head -head with their competitor Fury. 1.337 was Vitesse's time there. Swapping sides now. So just to have a quick question with Vitesse, you, you know you can go faster as your car, so how, how do you do that? How do you manage that again? I don't know, I mean, we reckon our car would be, it'd be all right. Um, and we think it could go faster than that. Well, we had some problems yesterday, but yeah, I mean, we, we expected to go a bit faster. Expected to go a bit faster. But, um, it's not necessarily just down to, to good breath Phil um, with his fast reaction time, but um, he got better with his second race there. Yeah, um, I'm, I mean, uh, you'd have to ask us. <laughs> Phil, how are you feeling about this? Uh, I'm still feeling pretty confident. Yeah, 
when I'm good, you even power stance as well. Uh, hands on both hips. You power stance it out and, and feel confident. They can hopefully go faster, do what they need to do, but they're doing a great job so far. So far, and Fury know what they need to do. So they're doing a great job as well. In lane one, they will be racing from now. Big thumbs up. That means only one thing, the race is about to start. So Fury, the faster overall time there with 1.340. So the race time, 1.160, did a great job there. And it's gonna be the fourth and final race for both of these teams in the F1 and Schools National Finals UK 2019. So there you go, the fourth and final race from both teams there. They did a good job, great job in fact. Setting the best time they could. So on to them. So next up will be Nebula Racing and they'll be taking on Fireflies. I tell you what, Fireflies are always prompt. They can come over and join me. The guys, the lads from Bridge End, chaperoned to within an inch of their life, and I like that as professionalism. Who's driving again? Is it going to be you, Lewis? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, Lewis, um, I, I, and I mean this in a nice possible way. I want you to leave now and head over to your area. There you go, Lewis is off. Um, what words of encouragement can you give Lewis? Well, he got the quickest reaction time yesterday, so hopefully he'll do it again. He's He's very consistent, so yeah, I believe in him. Oh, I believe in him too. I believe in you as a team. Loved uh, getting to chat to you about your pit display. I thought that was brilliant um, and really, really enjoyed it. So um, where would be the rest of the team? Where you'd be breaking up, going down to the finishing line? Uh, yeah, we'll just split along the track, really. One at the bottom, two in the middle, and then I'll stand by Lewis, probably. Okay, perfect. All right, then. Well, listen, uh, Luke, are you happy with the car yesterday? few issues at the beginning. You didn't put what on the car? Eyelets to keep it on the wire, but it's sorted now. But do you know what? I think that would have been brilliant. We'd have seen it actually fly over the wing here at the A380. It would have been brilliant. Um, but you happy with the car? Yes, I'm very happy with the car. Needs a bit of work, though, for next time. Needs a bit of work, maybe, for next time. But listen, guys, I'll let you get into your positions. Best of luck. Lovely to chat to you again. It's a brief, quick chat, but 
you know what? We know what we need to do for the racing. They, they're getting straight down to it. Nebula Racing, there they are. They're just having a quick test of their reaction time. Nebula Racing, there they are in their green. You can come on over. I'm gonna have a chat with you. There you go. Hi. Hello. Got all there. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's another one. Uh, any other hellos? Uh, Bonjour. We're just getting languages now. Hola. I like that. Nebula, how are you feeling? Um, more confident than we were yesterday. Well, that is good. That's a positive. You've been pr progressed from that. Uh, who will be driving today? Keris. Spoon. Keris. Right at the end. Keris. Spoon. 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 Okay. I don't. Know. I want to ask why, but Keris, I'll let you go into your driver's area. Make sure everything's set up. Why spoon? Um, because she couldn't make one of the car team races from our other thing, and we basically made her into a spoon and took it with us. Well, that is beautiful, and uh, probably one of my favourite items of cutlery. Why? Because I like ice cream. Uh, Lucy, what is your role going to be? Where are you going to be? I'm going to be at the end of the track. Okay, well, you're in the wrong place. I need you to go down there, Lucy. Well done. Who else is going to join Lucy? Okay, there you go. You can head down into your positions. We'll get the race underway. Best of luck, Nebula. Uh, away you go. No worries. We did all the hellos, but we didn't do any goodbyes there. Nebula making a move. They're looking for team jerseys that stand out. And I tell you what, that green, brilliant. Stands out. So here we go. All in position. Ready to set the fastest time they can. Just realized my top button wasn't done up. How unprofessional. It's done now. Bosh. So in lane one is Nebula racing. And in lane two is Fireflies. So best of luck to them. Last chance, 2019, I'll get to race these cars. Unless, of course, they buy a track and do it at home. That's a possibility. It's always that weight in the nerves begin to jangle a bit more, but they've got plenty of time just to take a little breather. Just a few waiting moments. I've spotted some pastries. I'm going to have one in a second. That's literally made my day. That's brilliant. I'll share it with someone if they want to share a pastry. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on the stream. It's not all about pastries. I can guarantee you that. It's F1 in schools, National Finals, UK 2019. We are ready to get underway. Best of luck to Nebula uh, Racing and to Fireflies. Here they go. I'll tell you what, it was worth the wait. Great stuff from both teams there. Very fast reaction time from Lewis for Fireflies. Doing a great job there, 
You might have wondered where I went. He's finishing that pastry. 0.174 for Lewis. Still fast. And the reaction time. 1.324 overall total. Where does that put them? Well, currently they're joint 17th with Quantum. 1.324. Nebula Racing, fastest car. Yesterday, 1.126. They're 17th. But Firefly is obviously a faster, best total time. So Nebula Racing will be hoping they can push up into the best time total. There's 20 places on the screen. So we're hoping they can push it into that top 20 bracket. I like the Airbus slogan, make it possible, make it happen, make it fly. And that's what these guys, these teams have got to do today, is make their cars fly down this track and set the fastest possible time. So a 30 second fixing job needs to be done for Nebula Racing. Summing up with the back left wheel for Nebula Racing. Done. All done and dusted. Just fix the wheel. 20 seconds. That's all it took. Bosh. Done. Hopefully the wheel holds up. So the SWAT lanes. They'll now have Fireflies in lane one and in lane two will be Nebula Racing. Two more opportunities to set an even faster time and break into the top 20. Fireflies are in the best total time. They're in the top 20, they're 17th joint. And Nebula Racing are 17th in the fastest car. There you go, third race from the guys. Set a very fast reaction time from Fireflies. Total race time for Nebula Racing, 1.277. And in terms of the Nebula Racing actual race time, 1.088, which is fantastic for them. That puts them up into eighth in the fastest car. Don't forget the previous fastest car time that we had was 1.081, which was held from the team from Coventry back in 2017. And that was equaled by Britannia Red, but there were four other teams yesterday that beat that time. So can Nebula Racing, with their last race, achieve that? <laughs> 
So there you go, final opportunity for those guys. Great work from Fireflies, great work from Nebula Racing. They should be very proud of those times. And great work from Nebula Racing, pushing themselves up into the top 20 of best total times. They weren't in the top 20, and now they are 10th there with 1.277. So well done to them. Can be done. As a result of that, it's pushed Fireflies down to join 18th with Quantum. But there's still plenty of time to see what happens. We'll be moving on to our next teams, which is Team Dynamic Motion, the guys from Exeter. Will they be wearing their sunglasses, their shades? And we'll also be welcoming the exception. Okay then, so we will have the exception. I can see them. Guys, you can come and join me for a quick chat. Because Team Dynamic Motion are doing a photo shoot. So the exception, welcome back. It's day two. Who's the driver? Who's stepping up? I got you once again. And you learned from last year, no dancing. Are you sticking with the same rules? Yeah, sticking with the same rules. All right, I'll let you get into your position. You're going to be in lane two. I can see, well, you know which one your car is. I believe you're going to be over on that side. Um, the exception, are we feeling confident about setting a faster time today? Yes, definitely. We have uh, looked through and seen what we can do to improve. So, and from yesterday, and we have tried to in we're going to try to integrate that today into our racing. That's it. And we're not hoping to use any of the tools from here, are we? Hopefully not, no. Fingers crossed. All right. The firmly shut down there on that lid. Well, listen, guys, um, you know your jobs. Uh, whoever's going down to the ends can head there. Driver, you know what you need to do. Head into that area. Team manage yourselves. Sort yourselves out. Uh, best of luck. Hopefully, the exception can set a faster time. And we will welcome Team Dynamic Motion. I like the way you're wearing your hat. I like that, Nick. That is strong. Uh, who's driving today? Is it still Charlie? Is he improved in his scale electrics? It's be me and Charlie. You and Charlie. Dynamic Char team? Dynamic team? Dyna 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 dynamic, dynamic duo. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, there was a lot of dynamics, but you got there in the end, and I appreciate that. Dynamic duo, you're stepping up. I'll let you get into your position then. Nick, Charlie, uh, head off for me. i got a cheeky mascot, Henry. What's your role for this? Uh, I'm going to engineer for two dynamic motion. Okay, so, so what will your role be right now in the racing? I don't know if we just go get the car from the other end. Go get the car. That is a perfect job title. What about yourself, bro? What are you doing? Uh, spectator, hype builder, uh, model. Uh, yeah, fashion model. Going to be modeling the clothes, modeling the hair. I love the hair. I was going to point that out yesterday. You go and get there, Jamie, in your hype. Go and, go and do your uh, uh, hyping for James there. Excellent work from him. So there you go. Lane one. You have got Team Dynamic Motion, and in lane to the exception. So best of luck to them. So currently, Currently, neither team are in the top 20. It's just currently looking at the screen to work that out. Team Dynamic Motion. They are in the top 20 with the fastest car. That's 17th. Best total time is 22nd. So the exception have got it all to do from St. John's College, but they know what they can do, and so do Team Dynamic Motion. Fastest time they had yesterday 
was 1.129. So hopefully the hype man, James, at the other end will be hyping. Don't want to get it twisted. He's doing a great job there with his glasses. I didn't ask them if they uh, had a games night last night. Did you have your games night? Of course we had a games night. You know, we were up all night. We were grinding out some FIFA games. You know, we loved it. We brought up the PS4. It, was, it got pretty good. You know, not going to lie. We really did enjoy it. Well, that's, that's good. You can enjoy that because, you know, you're on the grind now. You're making sure you're doing what you need to do. It's Charlie stepping up first to, to race. Stepping up for, Charlie stepping up first, yeah. It's all about the rise and grind, you know. Teen, teen dynamic motion, you know. Yeah, we got to get the bread, you know. I love it. The motivational speakers. That's what I like about it. Well, I'll let Charlie get in his zone because he's about to race, which I hope he knows. They're doing a little handshake, making sure they're ready. Thumbs up. It is time to race. Best of luck to both teams. So there you go, reaction time, 0 0.120, wowzers, that is fast. Fantastic work from Charlie. It is consistency, can you do it again? That is definitely the fastest reaction time I have seen over the two days, so congratulations. They were very dynamic there. 1.131 was the race time, and a fantastic reaction time from Ankush as well. For point one four six. Best of luck to both teams. They're about to race again. Well, great speed again, reaction time, 0.157. So there you go. Team Dynamic Motion doing a great job there. They set out their stall, they knew what they wanted to do, and they have got a good reaction time. Joint fourth now, Team Dynamic Motion with that. So changing lanes for Team Dynamic Motion. They're now in lane two and in lane one. You have the exception. Very fast teams here.
Here we go then, teams of Swap Lanes about to race their third race. So here we go then, the last race for both these teams, Team Dynamic Motion and The Exception. Well, there you go, Team Dynamic Motion. Let me know to follow them on Instagram. I will do. Uh, great work there from uh, Charlie, uh, from Henry, and Nick as well. They've also said that if I need someone to step in and co-host, uh, they're the guys. So a very dynamic team, full of beans, full of confidence. There they are. And fourth place for best total time. So well done to them. 1.246. So here we go then. Uh, the exception, doing a great job as well. In terms of that reaction time, that's great from Ankush. 
So here we go then. We are moving on to our next professional class team and we will be having a chat with Quantum and Regalia Racing. Regalia race, Racing, our closest. I'm going to let them go first. Just There's so many of them, the crew, the team. So you're going to be in lane two to start. Who is the driver? Anoop. Anoop, I'm going to get you over here a little bit more, gentlemen. So you're the driver. Uh, what did you learn from yesterday that you're going to change up for today? Um, not much, really. I thought my reaction times were okay, so I'm just going to keep it the same. Okay, well, keep that mental uh, sort of uh, place and head over. You're the driver, so I'm going to let you head over to actually your lane two, uh, guys. Uh, so where is the rest of the team going to be divided? So the rest of the team divided, a few at the back, just to keep sure the car is safe when it exits the, the lane and get someone to push it back and then two at the front to keep giving Noop some support. Mm. So motivate him. And Kyle, obviously the hair, different different look today. What's going on? Talk me through it. Uh, they already seen the afro, so I figured I'd give him something else today. <laughs> I love that. Listen, gentlemen, uh, lovely chatting to you. Always a pleasure. I'll let you get into your positions while I welcome on uh, your competitors on the track. Quantum are going to come and join me. Obviously did the pit lane earlier on. Lovely to see you guys. You're going to have to come over. I keep getting told off that I'm not getting you as far in there. I've been wondering, what is in the handbag? I think that you can't, you take that everywhere with you. Health and safety. Your phone, that is an that is a important thing. Uh, who's driving for you guys? Me. Okay, you are? Zara. Zara, lovely to see you uh, again. You're going to be racing. What are you going to learn uh, and do differently that you didn't do yesterday? Concentrate. Keep calm. <laughs> Keep calm and concentrate. Well, Zara, you can head over there to lane one. Your car is being lined up. Well, that's it. Holly wants to go. Where are you going, Holly? Uh, down the bottom to catch the car. <laughs> to catch the car. All right. It's a slip catcher. I'll let you go as a team. Uh, well done. Look after that uh, mobile phone, Libby, uh, in the bag. No mucking about, and other team members there now getting into position. So we're rattling through all of these races. The tool, it's not even a tool box, it's more of a tool bag. That's all you need. A Tom, a Tom, a quality name, Tom to a Tom. Uh, what's in that bag? Oh, it's just um, sharp scalpel, so just in case any parts come off, need to get a bit off, and then some glue to glue parts back on, and cocktail sticks to make sure the glue's accurate. And that's about all I need. Perfect. Well, you've got 30 seconds if there is anything that goes wrong. So best of luck, Tom. I'll let you get into position. So there you go. Both teams, lane one, all sorted with Quantum. And in lane two, Regalia Racing. So they're about to get started, trying to set a faster time. Quantum are currently 12th with the fastest car time with 1.091. Zara was saying she needs to concentrate more. That's a very fast time there. So maybe a faster reaction time can help them. And they're about to get the race underway. I like that, a spontaneous round of applause. Never goes amiss. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Quantum going into uh, position three there with fastest car, 1.056. Congratulations to those guys. They've jumped up into third place, which is fantastic for them. And this is brilliant. Before day one yesterday, the fastest time ever recorded was 1.081. And that has been beaten now by five teams. So it's a massive achievement for all of those involved. Here we go then. Ready to get second race underway.
So fantastic stuff there. That is why you can hear this round of applause from Quantum doing an amazing job. 1.150. Zara is definitely concentrating today. That was the tactic. And there you go. Brilliant stuff. So they equal Centurion's racing time. So now both teams will be changing over. Quantum already in the other lane. And Regalia racing. Well, just to bring you up to speed, some tactical changes happening for Regalia Racing. They have given some noise-cancelling headphones to Anu, who is going to be the driver in lane one. Could this make all the difference? By not hearing my voice, he might be a faster driver. Only time will tell. If anyone's running, who lent and oop, those headphones? That's from Overdrive, great team. They'll be coming up later on to race. They're just telling me the factual time check on that, about 20 minutes. I'll be the judge of that, Overdrive. I run the ship round here. I set sail on this course. Yeah, it is 20 minutes, so good luck with that. There we go, so quantum slight issue there, but it all sorted out, fixed. You'll probably notice today, we've got a few more track assistants. I'm not entirely sure what they do either, but they're here, part of the team, doing a great job, making things run along. Thomas is just setting the wire through the car, and we'll be getting underway with our third race. Concentrate, Zara, concentrate. Let's see if Quantum can eat, beat that time. The fastest time, been told it's an obstruction in lane two. I said it with a more definitive voice there to let everybody know. That obstruction is holding things up. We're back, ready to go then. Obstruction dealt with as Oscar. 
Taking a bow on that one, <laughs> quite rightly. So here we go then. One point zero seven two. Great speed from Quantum, doing a great job there. Just imagine if you could just reduce a bit of the reaction time. How well they be doing? 1.419 at so all time for Regalia Racing. There you go, all racing done and dusted for both teams, Regalia Racing and Quantum. Great stuff from them. Moving onwards and upwards. Hope you're enjoying the racing wherever you're watching it today. It's not every day you see two similar coats next to one another. Just on the side there. Rain macking it up. So here we go then. We'll be welcoming Bowman Eagles Racing up to have a chat with the one and only myself. Come and join me, the trio. Here they are. Just three of us now. The rest of them in the feedback. Okay, so this is quite important. So you're splitting the duties. Uh, you feeling confident about this, Ben? Yeah, I think so. I think yesterday went well. So I'm um, yeah, looking forward to seeing if we can improve today and yeah, get close to the top. Yeah. And, and obviously, it's quite nice. You don't have to deal with the feedback. Uh, things you can work on. The other team will tell you, members. Uh, so two Matthews. Um, obviously, who will be racing today? Me. I will. Matthew 1. Matthew 1 will be racing. Uh, where will you be, Matthew 2? Uh, I'll be up at the end, stopping the car. <laughs> Perfect. Well, listen, gentlemen, you know your roles. I wish you the best of luck. You can head to your positions now, and we'll get this race underway in just a second. Uh, they do need someone on the other lane and that is going to be Red Racing from Connors Key High School. So come and join me. Gentlemen, loving it. The red and white, the Rocky Blancos. The team Red Racing. Now, I really enjoyed uh, coming over to chat about your pit, understanding different nationalities. So who's going to be racing for you, Tom? Oh, yeah, I will, yeah. Solid name, Tom. Solid. So, have you noticed how many Toms there are around this competition? You haven't noticed? Oh, okay. Um, well, listen, I'll get you over there, Tom, to set up uh, in lane two, ready to drive. Uh, where are the rest of the team going to be? Um, I'm going to have Harry here at the end of me and the rest of them over there. Perfect. All right. Well, there you go. Um, Tom has spoken. Not me. Uh, the other Tom has spoken. So you can get into your positions. Best of luck, uh, Red Racing. Uh, they know what they need to do in terms of improving their times. Good lads. Really like the ethos of their pit. If you do get a chance, go and have a little look. It's right next to XLR8. Pit 20 is Red Racing. Good guys, talking about the ethos, the different nationalities in that team. England, Wales, and Poland. Obviously the red and white there of all the teams. A little bit of green thrown in for good measure for Wales. So there you go, so lane one is of course Bowman Eagles Racing. And in lane two is Red Racing. Best of luck to both teams. They're just getting everything sorted with the cars. And we'll get the race underway.
Okay, so Tom's gone for a quick break, and I'm back. And I think Bowman Ingalls Racing might have improved their overall time there. Yeah, so 1.294, put them in 16th. Red Racing's time to beat from yesterday, overall 1.301. And they did a great track time of 1.084, which put them in seventh. So we're going to do race number two now. So, not as great race time from Red Racing there, 1.103. Still not quite there. So the car's going to change over now. So, we're going to change lanes. Red Racing in lane one and uh, Bowman Eagles Racing in lane two. Matthew, 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 Matthew. Speak to me, speak to me. How'd that go for you? That was great reaction time that first time. Yeah, better than yesterday. So Better than yesterday, and you got your overall time moved up, so you're 16th. Yeah. Pleased about that? Yeah, pretty pleased. Yeah, you should be pleased. Nice. Niles. See, you right. see, it. see if you can do any better, that's it. It's faster. Get some coffee in you, get your teammates to run you some coffee, quickly. Black coffee? No coffee? Red Bull? Doesn't work. You've tried it. Lots of testings.
ready. Thank you. 